As a nation, we rely on the transport of products and goods to keep the lifeblood pumping through the UK. The task of transporting a lot of our everyday essentials falls upon thousands of large goods vehicles, LGVs, travelling the length and breadth of the country. There are millions of lorry movements every day, without which the UK would grind to a halt. Added to the lorries, in a population of 60 million people, we have over 20 million cars pushing our road networks to the limit. So, is it because of increasing fuel prices, parking restrictions and growing traffic jams or the need to reduce our carbon footprint and lead a greener, healthier life that more and more people are taking to cycling? Over the last 10 years, cycling levels across the UK have increased by 15%, but growth has been highest in urban areas such as London, where cycling on main roads has increased by 117%. There are over 2.5 million cycle trips every day in the UK. Cycle commuting is the area that is showing the biggest increase in cycling, with take-up particularly strong among young and middle-aged people in the south of England. However, one distressing statistic is that an average of 24 deaths of cyclists a year involve LGVs, 20% of the total, whereas LGVs make up just 5.5% of traffic. Statistically, the majority of cyclist casualties occur at road junctions, and the most dangerous manoeuvre is that of a lorry turning left. I think they'd gone to school together, so when Susie joined the company, Ed was already working there, and she asked Ed if she could cycle into work with him. I mean, she was a little bit nervous of the traffic. She was used to riding her bike, but not through central London in the rush hour, whereas Ed was, you see. I had just washed my hair, ready for Tracy, and the doorbell went. And I thought, oh good, she's on time for once. So I opened the door. And there were two police women. I, I didn't hear anything. Uh, I didn't feel anything. Or is it too big? Too loud? I went round the corner. I checked my mirrors, and I saw her. Oh no. Dear God, please no. I waited and waited for her. And then I went back and I saw the paramedics putting a covered body into the ambulance. And I still didn't realise. And then I saw this policeman picking up a rucksack. Susie's rucksack. The next thing I know, I'm at the coroner's office. That's where her body was. I wanted to see her, to touch her. But I said no. Too distressing. I didn't know what to do with myself. I still don't.
Susie's story is typical of tragic cyclist fatalities that have occurred on UK roads. Many cyclists don't have any training, but share the roads with users of cars and LGVs who are required by law to undergo training and pass a test. Duncan Pickering is the Cycling Development Manager at the Institute of Advanced Motorists and the country's leading road safety charity. It's his role to get more people cycling, but above all, safely. It's important to remember that a bicycle is a vehicle on the road, which means that it should act and be treated as such. Let's take a look at some key safety points to help cyclists. The first key point is for cyclists to be visible to other road users, so they should wear something bright and reflective, such as high vis. They must also have lights on the front and back, and always use them when it's dark or in bad visibility. Cyclists should also remember to look over the shoulder at regular intervals, and especially before making a manoeuvre. For good reason, this is known as the lifesaver look. At traffic lights, cyclists should make use of the advanced stop signs that have been put there for their benefit. It's also good if they can position themselves so that the driver behind has clear sight of them. And cyclists should be ready to move away as soon as the light goes green. Cyclists making eye contact with other road users is really important. It helps to let the driver behind know that the cyclist has seen them but it also lets the driver know that the cyclist is about to make a manoeuvre. It's absolutely vital that cyclists never ever attempt to undertake a lorry, a bus or other large vehicle. And we don't want them to stop next to the left hand side of such a vehicle when at a junction. Some HGVs even carry signs telling cyclists not to pass on the left hand side, so bear these in mind. We also don't want cyclists to hug the kerb. We want them to get out of the gutter and cycle in a position where they can see and be seen. And this is especially important before and when making a manoeuvre. If you're a cyclist, the rules of the road apply to you as well. So don't cycle through red lights and don't ignore pelican and zebra crossings. If you're a vehicle on the road and you want it to be treated as such, you must obey the highway code. And one thing that we don't want to see is cyclists using mobile phones or MP3 players. Cyclists need all of their sensors when cycling, including their hearing. Let's take a look at some key points for drivers to remember. Before setting off, the driver should always remember some pre-start checks. This includes mirrors, indicators, brake lights, even having a clean windscreen. Drivers need to be observant at all times. Always remember, mirror, signal, manoeuvre. And they should check and be aware of the blind spots in the vehicle. It's all too easy for drivers to get distracted especially by phones, sat-navs and radios, so drivers should keep their eyes on the road at all times. It's vital for drivers to watch out at left-hand turns for anything that may be undercutting up the curbside, especially cyclists. If a driver does have an opportunity to overtake a cyclist, then they need to leave them plenty of room. The highway code suggests leaving the same distance as you do for a car. Remember, expect the unexpected from a cyclist. There could be a pothole or obstruction in the road that the cyclist doesn't see until the last second, so they may swerve to avoid it. Drivers should always allow for changing weather conditions and the effects that these have on the vehicle and other road users, including cyclists. Remember, we all have the right to share the road together, drivers and cyclists alike. So whatever your vehicle, always remain focused on safety.